As Nigeria continues to face security threats, economic hardship, and endemic corruption, the judiciary must live above the challenges so as to continue to play its stabilizing role in the country's democracy. This was a submission of stakeholders during a lecture organized by Nimbus uh, Lawyers Forum in Yenogua, Bayelsa State Capital, in memory of the late Justice Ambrose Alagua. The former Attorney General of the Federation, Kano Agabi, said there is little the judiciary can do to help a country where disobedience to the rule of law, electoral law, and lack of equal opportunities for Nigerians bedevil government at all levels. Agabi said the country's democracy has been characterized by assimilation of the opposition parties, which has given rise to a culture of flattering. As long as the opposition is stifled or non-existent, the efficiency of government will be impaired. And once that happens, it will impact negatively on the judiciary. For over 30 years, during which we were under military rule, the dictators maintained law and order using their own machinery. They asked the jurisdiction of the courts whenever they found it expedient to do so. As a result, the institutions for the maintenance of law and order and the dispensation of justice were ne neglected and became weak. Speaking for that, the former Attorney General said the judiciary cannot cope if the country persists in fighting falsehood with falsehood, vice with vice, and violence with violence. Stating that for democracy to thrive, there is need for equal opportunities to all Nigerians. Let others feel free to scandalize the judiciary. Our duty is to exalt her. Our judiciary ought not to be treat, treated as that stone that the builders rejected, but afterwards put it in its proper place. She is not just one of the arms of government. She is the preeminent one. The plan and intention is to make this lecture an annual event by inviting leading figures and legal personalities to deliver the memorial lecture to advance public understanding, not only of the life and times of a hero, but also to instigate public conversation around topical issues of law, human rights, and development. This is a long-expected um, event. Members, say lawyers, God bless you all. God bless you all. You put smiles on my face. Daddy has been a blessing to us. And one of the things he believed, he believed there's ability in disability. He never believed in pity party, him and our lovely mommy. Legal practitioners of the lecture says since Nigeria became independent in 1960, the country has never been governed dramatically for more than 22 years at a stretch until the inception of the Fourth Republic in 1999. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.